Drew. So Uncle Drew is an upcoming comedy movie that comes out this Friday and it stars a lot of people. Hold on a second. Kyrie Ivory, Lil Rel, Shaquille O'Neal, Chris Webber, Reggie Miller, Nate Robinson, a lot of basketball folks in this movie. Basketball comedy movie comes out this Friday. Is it good? Not the best movie that you've seen and will probably will see this weekend, but for a comedy movie that's coming out, I think that there's a lot of enjoyment to be had with this kind of movie. First of all, I thought to myself, like, there hasn't been a basketball type movie like this. There's been scenarios stuff like this before, but never like a basketball type theme or like 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 Mike or like Airbud. Yeah, but I think this movie really hit home on a lot of those marks and everything. It did make me laugh in parts. Comedy is subjective, of course, but I never belly laugh. It never made me be like, oh, this is the best comedy of the year. I'll say for a movie that's in the thick of the summer movie season at the end of June, it's a pretty functional movie between, you know, right before Ant-Man and the Wall comes out, but right after, you know, seeing Jurassic World and The Incredibles, right through that middle pocket. That being said, looking at the pros and cons, I believe that Uncle Drew comes out in theaters this Friday. If you want to take a chance on this movie, I think you'll have a good time with it. Here's what you know about it. Let's talk about it. For all the cast in the movie, like I said, they're actors, not really actors, they're basketball players, but they're functional. I did like Kyrie Ivory's portrayal of Uncle Drew, you know, this wise dude and everything, like wise sensei basketball player, you know, that all, we all had that old dude that's on the court, you know, that's teaching all the young bloods and everything how to play the game of basketball, you know, the way it was played back in the day, you know, the old school way. Wait, I did like that. He brought a lot of mentor and everything to the movie. I did enjoy his performance. I mean, his whole crew, his team that he brought along in this movie and everything, I like the Molly Rock. They had their own personality, their own little character that shot. A good seeing Shaq on big screen again. He didn't suck for once, so Shaq was pretty good. Come a long way from Kazam. There we go. Uh, no, more or less one of our main characters in the movie, Lil Rel. I in, before, feel like he was trying to be Kevin Hart in this movie. He was trying to be Kevin Hart light, and it's just like, nah, man. A lot of the jokes that were involving his character in the movie it was like, it feels like these jokes would be said if it was Kevin Hart. We couldn't get Kevin Hart because he's working on another movie, so we had to get Lil Rel, and he was... No, but just like he could have been replaced by Kevin Hart and it probably would have been a little bit better because Kevin Hart has more de better delivery and execution on his jokes. Now, plot in the movie more or less is our Lil Rel character and everything. He's our main protagonist in this story, this underdog story. But more or less, what you need to know is a road trip movie to pretty much recruit some old dudes to play basketball. There you go. For the movie, like I said, the road trip aspect of the movie, I did like. like when his uncle drew a Lil Rel just cruising around on the road trip and everything, you're picking up all the players, you do have a good time seeing all the characters come together, seeing how, why they coming together, why, you know, uh, why they love the big game and everything, their little antics and everything, yeah. Chris Webber's character, I think he was my favorite out of everyone, because when you see him on the scene, just his kind of stereotypical, what he's going for, his character, I can't say what can I say, I just like stereotypes, it was good, I liked it a lot. On the back of all aspect of the movie, it's exciting, but predictable, you, you know, like, you know how the story's going to go, so it's like, ah, as much as I'm enjoying it, I kind of know how it's gonna go. So when they're making the impossible shots, when they're just doing this that in the third like it's exciting but i know what's gonna happen so yay the soundtrack in the movie too is also worth a ticket price in its own little bit because i found myself like you know what the soundtrack of this movie is really good it's a lot of mixture of good old school and new school music i liked it pause the movie i'm gonna say the comedy because it is a comedy not all the jokes land some of the jokes go over your head some jokes just land flat but there are comedic moments in the movie comedic dialogue that's all being shot towards little rel's character and that gave me a little chuckles here there and everything i found myself of laughing, you know, chuckling a bit. Right, but again, comedy subjective, so what you may find funny, what I might find funny, is two different funnies, so just just know that. And like I said, the story is predictable. You've seen the story of the underdog before, so like I said, if you walk out of it, it's pretty much like, well, I've seen it done before, I might have seen it done better, and I have seen it. That's the point. I've seen this before. Or whether you want to see it again with a basketball theme, that's on you. At the end of the day, Uncle Drew, it was a pretty fun, goofy basketball movie. I had a decent time with it. But good seeing all the basketball players come together to do their own little passion project, and I appreciate it. It worked out pretty good for the most part. But before this movie comes, I'm gonna say that Uncle True is a 4 out of 10, which is just okay. As always, guys, subscribe. Until next time. Here they come.